Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the worst candle companies ever created. Now, disclaimer, these are my opinions. This is just how I personally feel about these companies. I will give you reasons, obviously, why I don't like them, why their product sucks, why their customer service sucks, etc. And again, if you love these companies, great. I'm here to tell you I don't and my reasons. So let's get into now, it. I don't really have a lot of these candles to show you in person. I have one and I do have photos that I'll insert around the video. But the first brand is Capri Blue. How many of you have been to Anthropology, been to high-end really cute boutiques, smelled the amazing volcano scent in their store and decided to pick up a candle? Me, I'm guilty. I'm gonna take a sip because that's me. Now, here is why these candles are so horrible and why the company itself is even worse. This has never been burned. Do you see? It's a decent sized candle. It's a big size candle. This will never pull out. I'm not joking. It'll get to around here and then it'll stop. It'll never pull out. Over the years, they really are not that strong anymore either, so that really ruins the brand. But they're just horrible. They turn this like, they get really soft, but then the wax starts to like, it almost looks like a cauliflower effect around the side, and it never melts. It never does. You can trim the wick, you cannot trim the wick, you can put this in a hurricane, heck, you could burn this in a hot yoga studio and they never will pull out no matter how small how big how many wicks believe me i have tried them all i've tried the huge five wick i've tried the small one wicks i've tried the medium two wicks it doesn't matter squares rectangles jars tumblers anything they don't perform but here's the kicker you email their customer service and they almost degrade you when you ask them about the problem, they say, well, here's a snippet on how to perform and how to pr properly burn a candle. Listen, I had one of these burn for 48 hours and it still didn't perform. Trim the wick, do all I need to do. I've been doing this since I'm 11. I'm 23 now. I know how to burn a candle and it really, really grinds my gears when a company tells me how to burn a candle like I don't know what I'm talking about. Not only that, they give me that BS that says, our candles are intended for long burns. I said I had it for 48 hours and they said, well, maybe try another vessel next time. Fix the problem, Capri Blue. Everybody has the problem. Look on any site that sells them that has reviews. I guarantee people complain about them. They have, because I've seen people in the com candle community complain. Why do you think so many companies try to create this volcano scent? And they do, they get close, but it's not identical because the candles suck and the company is even worse. I have no desire to ever support Capri Blue again. I have some stock candles that I've burned through, but again, you're left with literally half of the jar. That's half your money thrown out the window. That's half your money that you can't do anything with. Yeah, you can go ahead and stick your candle in the freezer, but the problem is it ruins the jar when you're done because the way that they create this like paint on the jar no matter what design or the colors it scrapes it off it's just I need to calm down and I'm only on the first brand but I hate 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 what Capri Blue has a product like this I hate it and they just keep getting bigger and I just I don't understand <laughs> This next brand really saddens me because they used to be so great. Woodwick. And you know what happened to them? Newell Brands and Yankee Candle happened to them. You might not know, but Woodwick Candle used to be owned by Yankee Candle. Now, what Woodwick is famous for are their wooden wicks. Now, this is their ellipse line. So when you light this flame here, it'll go all the way across to the other end. And eventually, the entire candle will pull out and it'll look beautiful. In theory. Yankee Candle bought them. Now they're in Yankee Candle Source. And they're junk. 
One, of course they don't smell. I mean, that's a Yankee Candle for you. So they took into account that Woodwick don't smell now. And the wicks are horrible. Now, they also try to claim, well, every candle's different and the wood is natural. Guys, this is the one shape, and then they have a tall shape that's an hourglass. They all end up fizzling out and don't perform. They'll tunnel like crazy. The flames will get super small. You try to trim them. You don't trim them because they're a natural wood. It doesn't matter. I love the way this Palo Santo candle smells. But I refuse to burn it because I know it's not going to perform. I know it's going to fizzle out on me and be junk. So I'm saving it just because I like the way it smells. They crackle when they burn. They're great for ambiance. But again, an everyday candle burner isn't going to care that they're wasting a ton of wax because it doesn't perform. And it just stinks because this brand used to be so great. And then, of course, Yankee Candle got their greedy little money paws into them and... I can't swear. Ruined them. Shoot it all over them, I'll say. They ruined this company, and it stinks. And, like I said, if, if anything, they look good, and in theory, they're great. And I can't tell you the amount of people at my store who have told me how many they get back, brought back, especially the tall hourglass ones, because they just fizzle out, and there's nothing left of them. They can't even light. I mean, it's a candle. That's what it's meant to do. <coughs> Last but not least, other land candles, who claim to be the glossier of candles. They stink. Now, I do have personal reasons as to why I don't like other land candles, but I'm not going to talk about them on camera for legal reasons. But let's just say, even a small little candle doesn't perform. You could put one of their regular size candles, that's actually all they sell, one size, in your bathroom and they don't throw. They claim to be the Glossier of candles and they claim to be very luxe and using designer perfumes and they all smell like other brands because they just use stock oil on websites. They don't really partner with any uh, brands on fragrance or any designers or any fragrance experts. They just, you know, buy what's ever on the shelf, slap their own label on it, find a jar style, and call it a day. They're just not, I mean, they create like these capsule collections of three candles that canopy and cardamom vanilla and they're just junk. Again, they're just junk. You could buy such better candles at TJ Maxx than other land, and I think they're like, what, $34? <laughs> junk. Crap. I mean, again, that would never even, you could never even put it in a bedroom and smell it. Those candles are so small, you have to put it in a bathroom to even smell. And who spends most of their day in a bathroom anyway? I don't know. So, I don't like them again. So, they get up. <laughs> Another fat zero. So, we talked about Capri Blue. We talked about Woodwick. We talked about Otherland. We talked about as the worst candle companies and products ever created. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different chit chatty, but like I said, I've tried a lot of candles over the years and a lot of candle brands and I wanted to share with you why I don't like these brands. So save your money, go get some good candles. Heck, go get some Bath & Body Works candles. They're going to be on sale all the time and they're really great anymore. So check them out and I'll talk to you guys soon.